up properly go and take more study classes go and encourage more people to join the bal bal vihar be part of every aspect of the chinmaya life that is the tyagi in you haryo satguru nath maharaj ki jai haryo sir thank you so much uh, i now invite uh, sanjay ji to share his insight from this step haryo bahut hi sanjay ji हरिओम हरिओम आई डेफिनेटली कंसीडर इट एज अ प्रिविलेज टू बी अमंगस्ट दोज हुज थिंकिंग एंड थॉट प्रोसेस इज बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर मेच्योर इट इज मोर गिविंग टू अदर्स it is enlightening to others so my sincere appreciation and humble pranams to all of you because each one of you have opened up some polished aspect of that diamond which we call in scriptures bhagavad gita the 18th adhyaya the longest one and the last one is considered as a charama adhyaya and in it it has a shloka at 66th place which is called a charama shloka now what we are going to listen is the swan song of vasudeva 18th adhyay would be over and then vasudeva is not going to speak again so this is a final advice guidance instructions before bidding the goodbye to the whole humanity it has a name called moksha sanyasa yoga now sanyasa is it undertaken as a ashrama for reaching the moksha so sanyasa moksha yoga still one can understand again depends on what sambandham we established between moksha and sanyasa as two words this is tat purusha samasa moksha sanyasa it is at the same time not mumukshu sanyasa because अहंकारादि देहांतान बंधान कल्पितान स्वस्वरूप अवबोधेन मुक्तुम इच्छा मुमुक्षता दट इज वॉट आचार्य सेज इन विवेक चुडामणी बट दट इज मुमुक्षता भगवदगीता हेज गिवन द टाइटल हेर हेज मोक्ष मुक्षता इज द वन हु इज यट टू अचीव मोक्ष बट द टाइटल इज मोक्ष संन्यास so clearly a jeevan mukta after attaining the moksha because of the development of complete sanyasa attitude does continue doing the karma in the world till the prarabdha is there so his karma vis a vis all those who are yet to reach to the stage of karma so we have a sanyasi which is whether it is a vividisha or vidvat vividisha is one who has inherited the wealth from the father and vidvat is one who has it obtained the wealth by hard work 
but both are wealth bearing individuals so the jnana pipasu vidvat as well as vividisha sanyasta is attempting to achieve the moksha so there is a moksha purva sanyasa mokshottara sanyasa one who is in mokshottara sanyasa because one who achieves moksha is always in sanyasa as far as his body is still living on the earth arjuna got the basic confusion that sanyasi keeps on giving up everything and tyagi also does the same thing so is tyaga same as sanyasa is sanyasa and tyaga are same then why two words is there any difference because now arjuna has made up his mind that tasmat yuddhaswa is now all confirmed i am going to do this yuddha now arjuna is looking beyond the yuddha after the yuddha and my duties are done for the sake of my kalyanam my sakha vasudeva gave me so much of advice how will i proceed further his his thought process is there that is how he has been brought to the 18th adhyaya and then he is now thinking of higher questions now the question is not whether i should be fighting duryodhana what if bishmacharya dies in the way of arjuna vasudeva what is your swarup those questions are gone now it is a very very self centered question in adhyatma one is supposed to be self centered for the sake of kalyanam that man is not behaving properly this man is not behaving properly world is a bad thing universe is a bad thing that is not how a sanyasi thinks sanyasi thinks about what about me have i reached the destination he is least concerned and bother about others progress because he knows unless i first emancipate myself i cannot be of use to the universe and from that standpoint arjuna is putting a question now to asudeva and there is a hurry now because the hurry is for the reason that the hurry is going to go it is 18th adhyaya vasudeva is going to go so there is you know in examination you have two more questions to write and only 5 minutes left that is the situation of arjuna so he is hurriedly asking questions that's why 18th adhyaya we will see sudden changes in the topics and sudden height the, the loftiness of height changing as we move forward arjuna has a tenacity he is holding on till the end that is why this is the longest chapter because he has to nissamshaya he has to completely cover all the doubts because once vasudeva is gone who is going to explain me so he is asking vasudeva i have read heard seen sanyasis but is sanyasa and tyag as one and for the answer very clearly resting everything doubts to nil vasudeva says look arjuna tyag is of something that you acquire something what you are you cannot do tyagam you can abandon what you own but you cannot abandon yourself so first thing is whatever is emanating from you because of erroneous impression of you yourself you started acting in the drama and you became a king in that drama so you started ordering something as a king now you have to first leave what you are ordering because you are not a king and then realize that these orders are coming from that kinghood 
which you are holding because you are in the drama you are actually near not the king you cannot even give the orders so so living and giving up those orders is tyaga and giving up that role of king is sanyasa once the role itself is given up there is nothing left arjuna to give up but arjuna by the way let me tell you you might be jumping to a conclusion saying that all right i have to just give up my doership then there is no tyagam required arjuna you are going in a wrong manner first of all start from the other end first do the tyajya thing that is tyagam you do first and then you come towards the sanyasa because sanyasam is relinquishing a principal in a school is not behaving properly so he stops behaving improperly so what he did is he did tyagam of bad behavior while sanyasam is the principal resigned from the school so there is no question of right and wrong behavior the second part is sanyasam so naturally everybody hundreds millions times we have heard give up the doership give up the doership all right from tomorrow morning easy i will be a mumukshu and a moksha within another 24 hours because doership will be done arjuna it is not that easy there are millions of births people are trying arjuna it all depends upon the play of gunas how much sattva guna i have what is your power to transcend the three gunas etc then the mumukshata will come then little little bit dejected but arjuna asked vasudeva then where should i start then he said look you start with what far sighted people have seen what is the far sighted people have said vichakshana is far sighted far sighted mean they are looking and something which is at a far sight they are talking about so far sighted people talk about tyaga sanyasa has been defined by whom kavayo viduhu and who are kavi kavis are kranti darshi kranti darshi means what you cannot see they see so if you try to follow them first of all you are not able to see what is in within your horizon of vision so sanyasa if you try to follow you are trying to follow kranti darshi difficult arjuna so better go with vichakshana far sighted people so that you will your vision will expand you will reach your vision to see what far sighted people or vichakshana people are seen seeing means you will perfect your tyaga once you perfect your tyaga arjuna you will be automatically fit for mumukshata mumukshata is a flight arjuna to be taken from the airport before that you have to take a bus to reach the airport the bus is named as tyaga arjuna nodded the head vasudeva thank you so much very much clear now but again a confusion is in my mind now i have to start from tyaga but what do i do tyaga of because second adhyay third adhyay fourth adhyay you spoke so much about karma i am little confused what do i do tyagam of tyagam of karma so let let me just sit quiet but when i told you i wanted to not to fight you said no you have to fight you cannot escape karma so if i have to do the karma then what is the tyagam of what i do the tyagam then vasudeva said arjuna if you remember in fourth adhyay i told you first buddhavyam understand what is karma vikarma etc okay what was karma made up of karma is made up of first component which is a material component called ichcha a stronger ichcha is called vasana 
I have a vasana or ichha, so I will do karma. Not possible, Arjuna. Only ichha is not sufficient. To do work in this world called universe, you must have some connection with the world. Otherwise, how will you act? So where is your connection? Your indriyas. So this vishwa and the indriya and your prayatna through your jnanindriya and karmindriya is the medium. So you need a material, you need a medium, then only you can act. So ichaya vasana plus indriya and vishwa prayatna, etc. So material and medium will result into karma. Then what will happen? I have made a rule. Yantra rudhani maya. I have made a rule. Anybody who tries to combine desire called Icha or Vasana with Indriya and Vishwa, there will be a result produced. That result is called Karma Phalam. Now the question is, when two components come together, <clears throat> the Icha, Acid, the Indriya and the Prayatna, the base, the result will be Salt. It can't change Arjuna. So once these two things come, the result come. Now what happens? You took the seed called Icha. Then you took the water called Indriya and Vishwa, Prayatna, etc. Naturally, the sprout came out. That sprout is my work. Unfortunately, you thought that, oh, I put the seed, I put the water. That means the flower is also because of me. Arjuna, that is a problem. So this particular attitude towards the flowering of the plant, which is not because of you, but because of me, because I have made the rule that when such a karma would happen, there will be a result. That's why you remember you, you put the seed of mango and only mangoes came to that. Tamarind did not come there. That's because I decided so. Otherwise, there will be a chaos in this world, Arjuna. So when it is not your job, but my job to give you phalam, then what are you left with? Accept whatever comes. But my tree did not give me too many fruits. How many to give? I decided, Arjuna. Why are you crying? It is not your doing. Meaning what? Meaning only first two things are in your hand. Put the seed, water it, keep quiet. So then what did you do? You did not expect the result. That is precisely is called Tyaga Arjuna. And unfortunately, some stupid people, they think that not to put the seed, not to water is Tyaga. No, no, no. That you cannot do. Do you know why I have called you here to do karma? I have called you to do karma because your chitta is not pure. You do not know what you are doing, but I know what is to be done because I am calling you to my place. And to come to my place, there are certain preparations required for you because you are no more pure. So I have to create all this to purify you. I have done a great favor upon you because I have given this world for you to purify yourself. You are enjoying and dancing and what you are doing, Arjuna, this is meant for purification so that you can clear hurdle number one to come to me. Now, if that is the case, how can I tell people that please stop doing karma? I have created it to do karma. It is meant for Chitta Shuddhi. Then Arjuna said, yes, Vasudeva, I understood now that yes, I have to do the karma, but I was doing it in a wrong way. Doing the right karma, that is what you are asking. Not abandoning the karma. Tyaga is of phalam, not of karma. Yes, I got it. Then what is the right karma? Arjuna's doubts are slowly moving forward. Tyaga understood. Sanyas understood. Difference between karma, karma, phala understood. Now I want to know that karma which you want me to do for Chitta Shuddhi, how and what type and how to go about it. Arjuna, I knew this problem you would face. Millions are facing. So I have classified them only into three. 
there is something you do for me there is something you do for yourself and there is something you do for this world you are jeeva this is jagata i am jagadisha so you have three types of karmas to do and that is what i intend i am talking about my divine will of karma not about your definition of karma that is garbled thing just leave it aside you do for yourself a karma that is called as tapam you do something for me it is called yadnyam and for the world you do something that is called danam just keep doing these three things and be sure you are doing right karma no but what happened you know i somehow collected lot of money in my bank dr saab you have gone wrong that is not a good karma that is parigraha you made a mistake lakshmi or vittam is for what danam but i thought i will become 70 80 everything gets everybody gets settled i have sufficient source of income and then a little bit of money i would like to give to chinmay mission when i turn 80 if preferably with a small name plate of my father or maybe me doesn't matter it will be good if that can happen arjuna this is not the kind of danam that i spoke about what about tapam arjuna unless you have austerities sanyatendriyata is your karma so whatever i do it should create a tapam in me it should heat me for my purity no but yesterday i was indulging into alcohol how this can be tapam then the karma went wrong i am sorry this is not the karma i told you to do now how do i correct it sorry karma has happened phalam will come you have to suffer i have no role into it what did i tell you have sayatendriyata develop tapam in you the wealth will come to you in prarabdha vashat keep distributing it be of use to the world around you and offer everything to me when you offer yadnam to me you will develop in you kartrutva adhikar rahitata will come to you vinayam will come to you that will help in a later stage arjuna there is a stage later on called prapatti or sharanagati which my own uh, disciple called patanjali calls as ishvara pranidhana ishwar pranidhanatva that is the sutra in the samadhi pad that ishwar pranidhan is nothing else but the yadnyam that is i am telling you then you do danam you do tapah yadnya dana tapah karmana tyajyati chapare don't leave these three things otherwise foolishly some people i know they take uh, my meaning of tyag as don't do anything and sit at one place that is not what it is there if you have to do this tapam then you will have to develop yama niyama in you ahimsa satya aste aparigraha brahmacharya this is are the five yamas shauchya santosha tapaswadhyaya ishwar pranidhan niyama you will have to do arjuna once you do that personal karma is done once you distribute everything what can you distribute with oh with means my fixed deposit that is one form of with arjuna smile at others doesn't cost anything pat a small boy on the back appreciate somebody's progress you are burning with jealousy where is danam be partake in the happiness of others as mahatma gandhi says by your presence and service how many smiles you can bring to the face of those downtrodden decides your danam arjuna once this is done 
then you will realize the whole adhyaya that I, I spoke to you in second, third, fourth, etc., which I am repeating now, is for Chitta Shuddhi. And let me put it in writing in 18th adhyaya. So I am writing this shloka, Yadnya Jnana Tapascha Eva Pavanani Manishinam. Did you understand now how I was, why I was focusing on karma? Arjuna, one who is dirty in the gutter water has to first take bath. Then he will wear good clothes. You cannot wear good clothes with a dirty body. That's why stage-wise, first thing first, first thing through karma, chitta shuddhi. Once you are pavanani manishinam, Yes, now you can think of, you were asking me something about sannyasa, now you are eligible for sannyasa. Then the sannyasam will come. And how do you achieve this? While doing this karma, remember, etan apitu karmani sangatyaktva falani cha. Phalam all the three types I told you, yajna, dana, tapa, whatever you do, your job is only to plant the seed and water it. Moment you think of how many flowers or how many fruits would come, Arjuna, karma is gone. Then it is not my type of karma. It is your type of karma. And unfortunately, I have already then kept certain punishments there. Good, bad. That I don't know. Because that I long back, when I created, I started it. I even don't remember it. Yantra Rudani Maya. I have given that job already to another uh, part of mine called Ganesha. He sits in the Muladhara Chakra and he does all the Hisab Kitab. Yes, Arjuna is now completely impressed. And now he is coming to Vasudeva with his notebook ready in the hand. Because this is going to be required after the war. Right now, the sword is kept down. Right now, he's with a notebook and a pen. Because next thing, if Asudeva leaves after 18th Adhyaya, who is going to tell me? My own Guru Sakha will be gone. So he is talking, Vasudeva, are there any types of these Tyagas? Now Vasudeva smiles and says, Yes, Arjuna, you are right. There are three types of Tyaga. Because what people think, Giving up is tyaga. So, I am supposed to help somebody. I am not going to do that. Why? I have, I have done tyaga of helping others. Such erroneous things are also thought by people, Arjuna. That is why abandonment or tyaga is of also three types. Mohat niyatasya karmano parityagaha tamasaha. Mohat. First thing is, the point from where you are firing has to be very clean. If you fire from Adnana standpoint or Kama, Krodha, Loba, Mada, Moha, Matsara standpoint, no firing can be of good range. It will be called Tamasatyaga. Then, Dukham Iti eva yat karma kaya klesha klesham bhayatya jet iti raja satyagaha, which is our tyaga. We go to the office and then crib about it. It's so much of that today, so much of stress, tension. You do not know how much I work. Nobody bothers to appreciate me. Moment you come home, please don't bother me. Shout at the wife that you don't know how much headache I have, how much I am totally drained and tired. Parishrama. This pain, this fear, this clash, this is a Raja Satyaga. Why? Majburi, compelled to act. A karma cannot be compelling karma. Karma has to be a creative karma. When the same karma comes to drinking alcohol or eating in the restaurant, nobody says, my body is paining. No. Hey, when are you coming? Evening, let's do, let's sit together. 
no more explanation is required. Sit together alone is a word immediately understood. What happens? And then you should see the danam. Don't worry, I have the bottle, you come. Danam? Because tapam is going to start of drinking. There is no parishrama there. Why? Lobha tamasaha, rajasaha parishramat. But when kayam iti eva, duty for duty's sake, duty for duty's sake meaning, Bhagavad Gita is being talked on a Friday afternoon when everybody is asleep. I am going to get a pleasure of reading what Vasudeva is saying and then I am going to discuss this with Balaji Maharaj or Pradeep Ji Maharaj or Vashit Ji Maharaj is a matter of pleasure. Karyam iti eva. This is a duty. Then it becomes sattvic. Otherwise, two o'clock is my turn. Let me finish it. You know, these people, what they say, sir, the duty, the karma has become tyajya, but rajasika and tamasika. I put on this particular Zoom. My turn is at two o'clock. Let me take a wink. I will sleep for one hour. Nobody will come to know. Tamasa karma, even Bhagawan's karma becomes tamasa karma. Sattvika karma, all my selected brothers and sisters have come together. They are speaking so sweetly of the words of Gurudeva, Krishna. What is the difference between Krishna and Gurudeva? There is no difference. Krishna in the form of Gurudeva spoke the, and wrote the commentary. Krishna spoke about the same thing in the form of Gurudeva long back. They are same. Sangatya tyaktva phalam tyaktva sa sattvika tyagaha. But there is a small googly here. Sangatyatva palam tyaktva sattvika. This should be then sannyasa. How it became tyagaha? It is a tyagaha, not a sannyasa, because sangatyatva still has a feeling that I don't have the sangha. Ahankara vritti is still there, so it is still a tyaga. For a sannyasta, Ahankara is not, doership is zero. That is why a serious probing into Gurudeva about Gurudeva, you did so many jnana, yajnas, everything. He will be a person as if he has forgotten. He will say, who did it? There is no iota of doership. That is sanyasta vritti. This is sengatyaktva is a conscious awareness of me being not a doer. There is no sahaja vastha yet. That is why this is put still under tyaga. It is sattvik tyaga. Agreed? I am not taking any credit for helping somebody. It's a good, it's a sattvik tyaga. But I still have the awareness that I did the help. So it is still in tyaga level. At sanyasi level, People have to come and say, Sir, you gave all your wealth to him. And I would say, Did I? I don't know. Sanyasta Avastha. Jairamji used to mention one actual incident in Bombay when Gurudeva spoke very well. So somebody came and said, Gurudeva, you spoke very well. And Gurudeva said, Yeah, I also liked it. What, what he spoke, I liked it. Me? I don't know who spoke. Sir, this is a very higher thing. Another thing is, when you are doing the karma, nadveshtam kushalam karma kushale nanu shajyate satyagi medhavi. Unfortunately, we have not only classified that this what I like, this I don't like, but we have converted, converted that into beautiful words. You know what is my passion? Sir, how can you have a passion when everything is same? Now, Karela, I don't like, you know. Sir, where is the question of like and dislike for the Medhavi? That means still you are in Rajasik, sir. Tyaga. Forget about that. Even in the scriptures we say, I, Bhagavad Gita, I like, but you know, Brahma Sutra, I don't like, I hate it. What, what are you saying? 
Arjuna, did you understand so far what I said? Yes, Vasudeva, I understood it. Let me now tell you. So much I spoke to you about karma because there is a phalam associated and this phalam is of three types. Anishta, Ishta and Mishra. And I give it. I decide and I give it. There are, it's a very complex thing. You will not understand. Karmana, Gahno, Gati. Only when you reach my level, you will understand it. When these three are going to come, outcome, if you are karma falatyagi, what difference does it make to you whether it is anishtam or ishtam or mishra? That is why I say anishtam, ishtam and mishram is for pretya, the one who is going to be reborn. For them, these are three types and they will keep hoping only ishta will come. Anishta should not come. I want this phalam. I don't want that phalam. They are pretya, Arjuna. They are bound to come again. Why? They invested their energy in karma phalam. Because karma phalam is supposed to be a full stop. By expecting a particular karma, he put a comma there. Now I will have to again write the sentence because full stop has not been put. For, for the karma falatyagi, I keep closing the boxes. This gentleman did not expect any falam out of it. So after this karma is done, close, karma ashaya will start becoming smaller and smaller. It was a huge lake of desires. It will start drying up. After speaking so much, Vasudeva suddenly has taken a flight now. There is a flight of philosophy to a higher level. Pancha etani mahabao karanani nibodame sankhe krutante proktani siddhe sarva karmanam. Arjuna, now from Jnani's standpoint, I'll tell you what this karma is all. So far, I told you on a colloquial level what happens. Vyavaharika Satya, I told you. Now, let me take you to Adhyatmika Satya, higher level. And I know you are prepared for it because you are, a, you are now prepared for receiving that particular thing. Listen, Arjuna, this karma is because of Pancha Hetu. Pancha Etani Mahabaho Karanani Nibodhame. I am going to tell you. Five Hetu Karana. As per Sankhyas, the knowledgeable people. Sharida buddhi indriya pancha prana. This is what you have as your armament. This instrument that I have given you, Upadhi, has Sharida buddhi indriya pancha prana, which we call Adhishthana karta prutagvidam karana vividasya prutag cheshta. Since it belongs to you, this is Adhyatmika. So with this Adhyatmika four things, you are going to interact with Adibhautika. But there has to be a connection between the two. This connection is given by me, Arjuna. That is called Daivam, Adhidaivika. So Adhyatmika will interact in, with Adhibhautika with the help of Adhidaivam. And this interaction will take place through Three things. One, body, karmendriya, sharir, then mind, manam, and vani. Mana, sharira, vani are the modes through which adhishtana karta putak vidha karana vividasya putak cheshta and daivam are going to express themselves and then it is called karma. Arjuna, this is a new definition of karma I gave you. Why did I give you this definition? If you know the cause because of which this karma is happening, you can unhighlight the causes. You can focus yourself on the causes. Now tell me, Arjuna, if these five things are the substratum for the karma, how can you call me as the karta? People have been calling Atma as the karta of the karma. It can never be. Why? Because Atman doesn't have these five things. It doesn't have Sharira. It doesn't have Prana. It doesn't have Indriya. It doesn't have Buddhi. And so he doesn't require Daivam. 
So Atma cannot be alleged to be the karta for this karma. Now do you understand? You are who? Sir, I am Atman. That is what I have been always telling Arjuna. Nobody is believing. If you are Atman, then you cannot be the doer. And every day you have been saying that I did this. So either you are not Atman or you are not doer. Then Arjuna realized, oh, I cannot be the doer because I am Atman. Then why am I calling door? There is some erroneous impression that I am calling with me as I am the doer. So, na aham kruto bhavaha buddhi yasya, the one who does not think himself as a doer but as Atman, Arjuna, I give him three medals. First medal is na lipyate karmaha. It will not bind you. Karma will come to you because you are born. Because you have some karmas. So you will do that. But they will get extinguished. One after the other, the flame is going to go off. No rebirth. No recourse to follow, etc. And then, if there is no recourse, no karmas will be left. What is the reason for you will be born again? If you are not born again, then hatva api api nahante. Na nibadyate, these three medals will come to you. Na lipyate, hatvapi, na hante, na nibadyate. Now understand, Arjuna. Now you have come to a little higher level. Understand, jnana dneya paridnyata trivida karma chodana. This world, yourself, and the connection between the two. Suppose you are the world. So I am there. I am the world. Nothing can happen. Because where is the world? I am the world. Where are you? I am here. If everything is at one place, there cannot be any interaction. So putakta has to be there. Difference Perception of difference has to be there. That is the world. This is me. And I have a connection with that world. Then only the karma will happen. This is one hand. This is another hand. So the clapping takes place. If there is only one hand, how the clapping will happen? And Arjuna, on the top of it, there is actually only one hand. The mischief in the perception has made it two. And since two are done, they are clapping. Actually, the clap is also not there. Second hand is also not there. Everything is only one hand. Because the triputi or tripartite division took place, I have to call you as adhyatmika, that world as adhibhautika, and then I have to create a communication. Otherwise, you will not understand what is in front. Suppose I have given you eyes. They can't see anything unless I give the power. I have to connect the eye to that thing through something. The invisible force that allows this eyes to see the world is Adhidaivikata. So Adhyatmika, Adhibhautika, Adhidaivika coming together. Jnata then becomes Jnata. Dneya and then Jnanam experience. Balaji Maharaj was in detail explaining. He was giving explanation. Beautiful he was explaining. When he was bringing everybody's attention to Eka Bhava from the bottom of his heart Balaji Maharaj was trying to bring it there because Jnata Dneya and Jnanam this tripartite existence itself is the reason for karma. So Jeeva Jagata Jagdisha is one Understood, Arjuna, so far, everything? Because now we are going to go for the classification. Arjuna. And Arjuna, my base of classifying them is Gunas. Because my, 
I have nothing in this world to play with. I play with gunas. You take away my three gunas, the world is not existing. So whatever I do, I just do the different combination. It's my Rubik's cube, but it has only six sides. So I have only three gunas. I keep mixing them and new, new things come out of it. So now based on Jnana, the jivas are classified into three. Sattvic, Rajasik, Tamasik. Sattvic Jnana, Rajasik Jnana, Tamasik Jnana. Karma, Sattvic Karma, Rajasik Karma, Tamasik Karma. Karta, Sattvic Karta, Rajasik Karta, Tamasik Karta. What is Sattvic Jnana? Because you, in your world, Arjuna, I saw there are many Jnani people. Very recently, I come across uh, somebody who was saying that he has done his MD, MS and uh, IAS and, and whatever, and he called himself Jnani. This confusion I want to clear because there are only three Jnanis, Sattva Jnani, Rajasa Jnani and Tamas Jnani. I don't understand degrees and PhDs. Who is Sattvika Jnani? Prutakatvenatu Yat Jnanam. Apologies. Sarva Bhuteshu Yena Ekam Bhavam Avyam Ikshate Sa Satvika Jnani. One who perceives all as one. So all are one Satvika Jnani. All are different Rajasika Jnani. Prutakatvena tu yat jnanam nana bhavena prutakvidana vetti sarveshu bhuteshu iti rajasa jnana. So all are one sattvika jnan. No, 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 no. All are different. I am perceiving it every day. Rajasa jnan. All in me. There is nobody all. Only me. Whatever is for me. I want everything. Everything for me. As long as mine is done, I don't know. Let, let the world go to hell. Tamasa jnan. All are one. All are different. All is me. Sattvika Rajasa Tamasa Yattu Krutsnavat Ekasmin Karye Sakta Hai Tukam These people are called Ganana Laghu Chetasam Tamasa Based on Karma Again Sattvika Karma Rajasika Karma Veda Niyatam Sangha Rahita Raga Dveshataha Krutam Aparishrama Yukta Aphala prepsu sattvika karma. Haan. You want to do karma? Ask first question. Is it Veda Vihita? Yes. Yes, that is likely to be sattvika. It is Veda Vihita, but you know, I have Sangha Rahita ta is not there. Then it is not sattvika. Sangha Rahita. But I don't like it. No, then it cannot be sattvika. Raga Devesha Akrutaha. I feel tired while doing this Shrama. We always read, Gurudeva was so always full of energy, doing small, small things so meticulously. Sir, what is the reason? Sattvika karma. Apparishra. He was never tired, you know. Every morning, only three hours sleep. Getting up at three o'clock. And even then fresh. And even he was having a heart attack. The doctor said, don't take nana. He came and he said, and what he spoke? Sir, all this is because Sattvika Karma, Sangha Rahita, Raga Dvesha Akrutam, Veda Nita, Afala Prepsu. What about Rajasik Karma? Hey, why Gurudeva? Our example is there. Gurudeva, you cannot find any Rajasik Karma. Best example is the one who is speaking right now, Kame Psuna. What is Kame Psuna? I am now going to deliver a lecture on 18th Adhyaya. I have been told to speak at the last. That means I am definitely intelligent. And then after this is done, I would like to listen to conversation. Maybe Dilip Ji will say that Dr. Saab spoke very well and then my Atma is Santosht. If Pradeep Ji says that, you know, Dr. Saab very well explained it, then I will try to show humble I am. This is a Rajasa, Karma, Kame Psuna, Sahanga Karana, Ahankara. When they introduce in, in one of the provisions, they say he is a doctor and yet he has been studying very well. Oh, it gives me such a pleasure inside. This is called Ahankarena, Kriyate Bahulam Ayasam. 
खूप परिश्रम लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स आय विल टेक टू इम्प्रेस द क्राऊड दॅट आय एम व्हेरी इंटेलिजंट ऑलमोस्ट क्लोजर टू ब्रह्मज्ञानम दिस इज राजसकर्म काम अहंकारयुक्त अँड परिश्रमपूर्वक राजसकर्म तामस वी डोंट हॅव एनिबडी इन अवर क्लास ऑर एनी वेअर अराउंड वी आर लकी अबाउट दॅट बिकॉज क्षयम हिंसा पौरुषम अनवेक्ष मोहात आरभ्यते तामस कर्म हानिकारक हिंसाकारक बट माइंड वेल वी आर ऑलवेज नॉट इन राजसा वी डीप डाऊन इन 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 तामस कर्म एव्हरी नाव इन देन हाव दॅट मॅन इन माय कंपनी डज नॉट डिझर्व इन्क्रिमेंट ऑट ऑल बट लुक ॲट मी हाऊ मच हार्ड वर्क नो बडी पेज अटेन्शन टू मी ही डज इन डिझर्व इट असुया जेलसी कंपॅरिझन हिंसा पौरुषम अनवेक्ष वॉट इज युअर कपॅसिटी वॉट यू आर डुईंग यू आर वन स्मॉल जीव आर ट्राईंग टू अंडरस्टँड अँड लर्न सम पीस ऑफ नॉलेज दॅट टू परोक्ष फ्रॉम भगवद गीता अँड वॉट डू थिंक ऑफ युअर सेल्फ आय एम ऑलमोस्ट भगवद गीता इज डायजेस्टेड बाय मी असिमिलेटेड दिस इज कॉल्ड पौरुषम अनवेक्ष विदाउट सीईंग दि पॉवर इन द कपॅसिटी यू हॅव मेड आयडियाज अबाउट युअर सेल्फ दॅट इज अ तामसिक कर्म अँड ऑन करता ऑल्सो देन देर आर थ्री टाईप्स Unfortunately, today we have only 26 shlokas. So that is why only Sattvik Karta gets covered into this. Who is Sattvik Karta? Mukta Sangha, Anaham Vadi, Dhruti Utsaha, Samanvita, Siddha Asiddhayo. Meenakshi ji again and again was trying to find an example and every time she used to come on Guru Deva. Naturally, because he's close to us. All this applies to him. Dhruti Utsaha. Look at our Utsaha. two hours that to on friday morning that also is not utsah there why again this friday also we have to uh, if i don't attend what others will say oh he doesn't come so i have to at least my attendance i have to keep it there this is our utsah how often we have taken any scripture on our own and studied it till the end is there anybody who has taken brahma sutra sat and said this particular vacation i am been 15 days i would study complete brahma sutra no why no utsah i have to study it i know what i am thinking time is not there when i retire then brahma sutra then upanishad who are you cheating fraud defrauding yourself not anybody else sir this is not satvik katra karta and but what if i don't understand that's why i don't study only siddha asiddhayo nirvikaraha whether i understand i don't understand i will pray to the lord lord will help me no i don't think i can you know sanskrit i, I don't think that's my cup of tea when did you know what is your cup of tea you are trying to philosophize your procrastination and laziness that is not satvik karta satvik karta is dhruti utsah samanvitah siddh asiddhayo nirvikarah and keeps working so 18th adhyaya if taken in right earnest it bears open the skeleton of ourselves oneself and we feel ashamed because there is so much of dirty dirty things inside the outer covering of calling ourselves as an ardent sadhaka is very nice but frankly speaking you may go and sit in 10th standard class but moment the question is asked they come to know he belongs to the first standard that is how what happens when you start studying 18th adhyaya in the right spirit and let that introspection be there let that anveshan be there let it be investigated let us at least know where do we stand that is the real purpose to know the ignorance is the first sign of abhyudaya the journey would rightly start in a right direction provided you know that you are walking in the wrong direction and that is a very important function that happens when we study bhagavad gita under the auspices of great torch bearers like gurudeva hari om